What's up? Boys and girls, we got some more open beta news. Welcome back to another video on Apex Legends Mobile. And today, the next open beta is just around the corner. But before we get into it, make sure you hit a like on the video. And I want to know what your guys' favorite weapon to use in Apex Legends Mobile. I mean, for me, it's got to be the Spitfire, right? I don't know where I was going with that. Let's get into the video. Okay, so to start off this video, I want you guys to remember what the CEO at EA mentioned in the last EA press conference, okay? He stated that the global launch for Apex Legends Mobile could come earlier than the end of their fiscal year which ends in March 2022. In the press conference before that, EA confirmed that there will still be an open beta and a soft launch for Apex Legends Mobile, meaning from today, we have around sort of four to five months to go through an open beta and a soft launch. So today, some more news has been revealed, which has been a new app update, where if you go onto the game right now, if you still got it downloaded on your phone, load it up right now, and it will show this message just here. Client version is too old, please download the latest version. This has happened before on the previous betas and then around two to three weeks after this message, a new client comes out and is available to download. This means that from now until around the sort of 10th of December, we should be getting the next open beta boys and girls. This makes a lot of sense because this next open beta will last for around one month, which takes us to around sort of January or February. And then straight after that, we should get the next trailer, which I've got on my timeline just here. And then we should go into the soft launch, which lasts, you know, which will allow us to, you know, keep our accounts and, you know, get ready for global version. Because when you're in a soft launch, you get to you know, log into your account, you get to create a brand new account. And when the global version comes, you get to keep that account and all that you've grinded for through the soft launch. So technically, we get the global launch in the soft launch. And soft launches usually last around sort of three to four months before going into global. So boys and girls, we are almost there. So get hyped. The only thing to mention about the open beta is it will be running on the same app we have already downloaded and played before. This basically means that there won't be any major updates in this next open beta, apart from what leaks we've already obviously seen over the past month. And about those leaks, guys, I'm hoping to work with Respawn myself, the company behind Apex Mobile. So going forward, I want to stay in good faith with them. I want to stay in good faith with them. So I will only be showing you guys official news and stuff I'm actually allowed to show. So just want to make that clear. Now, if the client update comes by December, then if you go to this Google page just here, which all you need to do is search Apex Legends Mobile on Google, stay on the browser and open the browser version of the Google Play Store, you will see that the client was last updated on the 14th of October, which was the last beta. Keep checking this page over the next few weeks, guys, because when this page updates with a new date, then the App Store page will update soon after, which means the open beta is definitely coming. I wanted to make a video just going over that today, guys. Again, it's, it's not a huge long video. I just wanted to give you that news. It's insane. Uh, I want to leave the rest of this video to show you guys what weapons and sort of what weapon skins look like in Apex Legends Mobile since they look absolutely insane. I'm definitely excited to see how sort of Respawn, you know, offer the, us these skins as well as heirlooms. So I tweeted recently asking you guys if you think some of the weapons and legend skins should be great grindable meaning that you don't have to necessarily pay for all of them let me know in the comments if you think this is a good idea because you know that it's rare in mobile games for them to do this they obviously the companies behind the games want to make a lot of money but i'm excited to see what respawn do because they tend to give more back to the community so i think it would be good i mean obviously most of the skins and stuff will be paid you're gonna have a store you're gonna have to buy skins you're gonna open packs and stuff like that but it would be good for them to instead of you know grinding for the battle pass skins maybe add another little mission where you could grind for like a, a mega skin or something like that you have to do you know like we used to do on the xbox where you have to uh, you know complete ach achievements and accomplishments It'd be good if you could do that where like you can get like this super rare gold octane skin just for completing every single you know achievement in the game that would be sick that's a really good idea so let me know in the comments what you think about that and if that should be in the game and i'll really push for that um apart from that guys that's basically the end of this video so i promise you guys once the game comes out i will be doing a multitude of content instead of just news news and 
More news at the moment because that's all we've got. But again, enjoy some weapons from Apex Legends Mobile and some character skins. And I will catch you guys in the next one.